Hey, welcome back to the Steve Champagne Radio Show. Welcome back. I love music. Army, welcome back. Journey fans, Steve Perry fans, welcome back, everyone from around the globe for this musical show as we talk about and react to Steve Perry's reaction and Forbes putting out the fact that Don't Stop Believin' is the biggest song of all time. Uh, I don't know if that means greatest or biggest, but probably biggest because it's 18 times platinum. Now, you know, when it came out, it was not their highest charted song ever. And it still isn't their highest charted song ever. Um, But Steve Perry did respond to it. Uh, the the Forbes magazine putting out that article by saying uh, to be part of such a moment uh, made him reflect on his parents. Uh, by that, I mean I lost them both years ago. I was so happy for them because they are truly the reason this is happening. My dad was a singer, and both of them were very musical. So on behalf of my mom and dad, I thank every one of you for so many years of support. Neil Sean chimes into Steve Perry's post, praising Steve Perry, talking about how What's of a great time they had putting the song together, writing it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you know, uh, and this is how it starts. Just to just to dive to the left a little bit. Remember that video I put out about Steve Perry coming back to Journey and nobody said, no, 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 no. It'll never happen. I didn't say he was going to come back and they were going to tour the world and do 200 shows. That ain't happening. What I said was they would make a record or DVD or a television show unplugged, a special thing from Journey. That's what I said. And this is how it starts. And you naysayers out there, you know, Axl Rose said, the hell with you to, to, you know, Hall of Fame. I'm not coming. But, you know, where's Axl now? Yeah, where's he at now? Oh, the Don Henley, Glenn Fry, Eagles, Hell Freezes Over. We'll never give it. What are they? They're still doing it. They did it till he died, Glenn Fry. And there's other bands who did the same. It's very possible with Journey. But let's get to this "Don't Stop Believing" thing. Um, I think the reason why it, it's so popular really is because of the Sopranos. Uh, I'm not saying it's a bad song or anything like that. What I'm saying is, is when the Sopranos put that at the end and their final there, it kind of kicked the song up a notch. And got a new generation of people that never really grew up with Journey, you know, or something like that. It just made the song more popular. Um, this song is a song of hope. It's a very positive song. I think it's a brilliantly written song and, and very well put together. And to be quite honest, the most overlooked part of that song, in my opinion, overlooked part, is the drums of Steve Smith. Uh, I've never really seen a drummer, you know, I've seen a lot of bands cover the song. But I haven't seen a drummer play Steve Smith's part correctly because Steve Smith is very, 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 very good. And he does not get the credit he deserves what what he contributed to Journey. And I mean, really, but I'm not going to go off on Steve Smith here. I'm not going to go on that tangent. I'm going to say it's the biggest song of all time. Now, there are other songs that are 17 times and I think one that's 18 times uh, platinum. Ed Sheeran's Thinking Out Loud, which, of course, he got sued over. Uh, play, you know, saying he plagiarized uh, Marvin Gaye's "Let's Get It On," and uh, of course th- that's a topic for a- another day. But here we go with Journey. Two things I want to ask you guys, and I'd appreciate you putting the comment section while you're down there. Hit the like button; that will be happy uh, for me. I'd appreciate that. But let's get to the conversation first. Is this the greatest Journey song of all time, in your opinion? Um, it's not in mine, but I think mine fluctuates on a day-to-day basis. Maybe, you know, there's a whole bunch of Journey songs you like and you just, you know, okay, I like the song, but maybe you're tired of hearing it now. If you're a big Journey fan, maybe you've heard it so much. You're like, you know, I don't care if I ever hear it again. So I thought it would be cool. And I'm not going to do this unless in the comment section you put in there that, yes, Steve, do this, please. Uh, and find out what are the top 10 Journey songs that were never singles. That means, you know, they were never released as a video. They were never released on 45, you know, or the A side of a 45. We got to do that. A side of a 45. 
what would be the top 10 most popular Journey songs? Now, I would go to iTunes, Spotify, Deezer. I mean, just, you know, all this stuff. You know, iHeartRadio. I would go to every streaming platform. I would count up every play count from every Journey song and every platform, including YouTube, because there's a lot of YouTube stuff, Journey on YouTube, um, and find out what are the top 10 Journey songs, according to the world, that were never singles. Uh, that intrigues me. Does it intrigue you? If so, put in the comment section, yeah, Steve, I would like to know what that is. I don't want to do the math. You know how many streaming services are out there? You're going to have to do the math. You're going to have to research these play counts. I mean, it's going to be hard because you're going to have to find all those album cuts when you and the play counts as you scroll down because obviously the hits are probably going to be up at the top. The other stuff's going to be at the bottom. But uh, what is the top 10 Journey songs that were never singles? Uh, I think that'd be a cool video. And if you want me to do that, please write in the comment section. And for those people that are not in the I Love Music Army, if you love music, if you love to talk about music, uh, I read every single comment. And in fact, I'm going to start doing video responses to your comment because I can't just get into the point where I can't comment on everybody's comment anymore. It's just too much work. So I'm thinking about doing video responses for that. Um, anyways, uh, to make a long story short, would you like me to do that? If so, write in the comment section. What do you think about Don't Stop Believing Me the biggest song of all time, according to Forbes magazine? And uh, yeah, what do you think about that? Uh, write in the comment section. Let's talk about this. Like, subscribe. We sure would appreciate it. Um, it really does uh, help me out. It helps the music industry out by talking about these songs and artists. So, uh until next time, we got to pay some bills. We'll be right back. Uh, we got some cool stuff going on in the show today. So I, I'm excited about this. Uh, we will see you in a minute.